I like to call this person mistakes instead of by their name because when I look at this person and their glutton looking pot belly, in which I'm a glutton too until I change my ways, um, I just it, it motivate me to make this quick faceless video and speak on this individual. I am talking about none other than Bishop T.D. Stakes. That's right, Bishop T.D. Stakes with extra butter on the pancakes. Get me, get me, get me good. Um, Bishop T.D. Stakes, to me, is, in my mind, he's a prosperity preacher. He preaches about entrepreneurship, prosperity, preaching success in business, but I do feel that he is allegedly using, um, and I have to watch my words, what I say, he is allegedly using religion as a means of allegedly making money and living a lavish lifestyle. Um, preaching, if you are called to preach, or you are ordained by a true apostle who the apostle was called to preach. That is a beautiful thing if you're ordained by an apostle who was called to preach. But getting up and preaching of yourself, if you're not called to preach, or if you're not called by a, a true apostle. And I'm not saying that TD Stakes wasn't ordained by a true apostle i just don't know i don't know where he stands and i myself i could be wrong i don't think he you know i don't think he was called um that's just my personal opinion but i wanted to speak today on bishop td stakes to me he seems like a prosperity preacher that is only concerned about making money and doesn't care about the souls of the people. Bishop T.D. Stakes. He preaches and then he preaches about business and success. I personally feel that he is allegedly and potentially using religion as a means of furthering his entrepreneurial agenda. Because I think that T.D. Stakes is primarily in it. Allegedly for just the money again, I could be wrong, but this is how my This is my viewpoint on Bishop TD stakes furthermore One thing that TD stakes doesn't understand is if if and I don't know this if he is a bona fide preacher He needs to lead by example now, in my mind, Bishop T.D. Stakes is not leading by example. And now we're not going to get into the recent allegations and all that other good stuff. But number one, Bishop T.D. Stakes and get me, get me, get me good, get me good. Oh, you get what I'm trying to say. Stakes is not being a primary example because. Despite that he does preach, despite that he does have businesses, despite that he can and does have the power to influence public opinion. Bishop T.D. Stakes is a hypocrite when it comes to maintaining good health. Now, on that note, I myself right now am a glutton. I, too, am a hypocrite. I'm in the same shoes as Bishop T.D. Stakes. So I'm not putting stakes down to make myself look good. I'm calling myself out and I'm calling him out. Both of us are gluttons, but I'm working on my weight loss right now. And Bishop T.D. Stakes is flopping in his weight loss. Because if you look at that fat Papa Jama, Potato Johnson looking pot belly, his the bottom of his stomach is flapping over his pants line. Am I right? Well, Bishop T.D. Stakes primarily 
is seen as more of a business person and an entrepreneur entrepreneur versus a being um, cast as a bona fide preacher. Again, I don't know if Bishop T.D. Stakes is called to preach or if he was ordained by a true apostle to preach. That information, I don't know. I can't tell you. But I can tell you this. And Stakes, I don't care if you're listening. You can sue me and I ain't giving you a dime, buddy. I'm calling you out and I'm calling a spade a spade. Bishop T.D. Stakes, you are a glutton. You are about making money. I'm not repenting to you. I'm not sorry. I'm calling a spade a spade. You're a hypocrite glutton. And I'm a glutton too right along with you, Bishop T.D. Stakes. Furthermore, while Bishop T.D. Stakes has a slew of businesses, you know, he's into his side hustles, whatever it is, but he's also into real estate. One of Bishop, if Bishop T.D. Stakes is really into making money, then what he needs to do is stop being a glutton. Bishop T.D. Stakes, I'm talking directly to you. You can get all the lawyers you want. Against me, I'm not giving you one red penny, you fat, bald head, fat pop, pajama, potato Johnson, no meathead. Uh, <laughs> don't laugh too hard at that. But that meathead Bishop T.D. Stakes, um, with his sloppy stomach, and my stomach is sloppy too, but I'm working on mine now. I'm doing my ab crunches. Okay, I'm in the gym. At least I'm trying again. Bishop T.D. Stakes should have a new side hustle. And his side hustle, if he wants to be cast as an honorary and a well-respected role model on a spiritual entrepreneurial level, his new side hustle should be having a health and fitness related YouTube channel. His other businesses, real estate and whatnot, they're doing exceptionally well. But yet, Bishop T.D. Stakes has this monkey, moulinian, fat pop pajama, potato Johnson looking pot belly that sticks out like he's. Well, I don't want to say the word because that can't happen with men. But imagine what the word is. It starts with the letter P. And I'm not talking about protein. Are you getting what I've got to tell you? But Bishop T.D. Stakes should start and strive to get on the right path to living a healthy lifestyle. Because from the looks of that fat Papa Jama Potato Johnson pot belly, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you right now, that pot belly, that monkey mooling yon gut boy, that. Thing is Sasquatch looking. Am I? Am I? Am I? Right. So, Stakes, if you're listening, you need to start a new legitimate side hustle because you have to give an account for how you make money. If you are potentially using religion as a means of making money, to live a lavish lifestyle, in my mind, that is wrong. W-R-O-N-G. You can get lawyered up, Bishop T.D. Stakes, and sue me all you want, just like you're suing my apostle teacher. And guess what? I ain't giving you a dime. I ain't scared of you, Stakes. You are a glutton. You are a glutton. And I don't have respect for you, Bishop T.D. Stakes. You need to lose weight, you fat papa pajama potato Johnson. Are you getting what I'm trying to tell you? Get me, 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 get me good. Old stakes. Allegedly has over $100 million. And you got this monkey moulin looking pot belly. Brother, you need to start a YouTube channel and show people how to get healthy, have tips for losing a pot belly stomach. So this way you can earn some honest money as a side hustle, as a business venture. Because 
whichever way you are making money right now, Bishop TD Stakes, you have to give an account for that. And if you if if you are I'm not saying that you're not, if you are making money any type of way that is outside of spiritual guidelines, outside of scriptural spiritual law, you got to give an account for that. With that said, you can make some honest, decent money on YouTube with your health and fitness related weight loss YouTube channel. And you know, Bishop TD Stakes, you would easily, easily get millions and millions of subscribers. You let the world know you got a health and fitness related YouTube channel and that you're going on a one year transformational weight loss. Brother, you could transform people's negative perceptions of you in a New York minute. Instead of going out there and allegedly stuffing your face and you're smashing it up real good. You know you smashing up that food real good, Bishop T.D. Steak. You need to stop that mess, man. I saw that video of you with your shorts on. You doing your little shaking and swaying your arms in the air and the bottom part of your stomach was flapping. Brother, steaks, steaks. Have you been eating too much steak with extra sour cream? Have you been smashing it up? Smashing that butter across them pancakes. Man, you need to stop that mess, steaks. Steaks, 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 steak them, steak them. Steaks. I'm talking to you, steaks. You need to stop it, man. Stop it. You call yourself a preacher? You got to line yourself up, brother. You got to lose that hammy weight. It ain't cool walking around looking like a fat Papa John or Potato Johnson, man. A walking Potato Johnson. Come on, steaks. TD steaks. Though you sitting there, you probably giggling. <laughs> you gonna listen to this video? Uh, this monkey Mullion talking about I need to lose weight. You know you gonna sit there and laugh at this video if you choose to watch it. You gonna sit there and laugh and you gonna be thinking he's telling the truth. He's telling nothing but the truth. I just might get my lawyer knock his head off anyway in court. I don't care what you do, Stakes, because I ain't giving you a dime. And you ain't going to get no FCC to censor me, brother. Because I ain't scared of you. Bishop T.D. Stakes. Get me, get me, get me good. Am I right, I say? Oh, sloppy boy. That Potato Johnson-looking stomach, man. Get that side hustle going, Bishop T.D. Stakes, and start that weight loss YouTube channel, man. Stop playing on people, man. Up there, all you about money, 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 swaying hands in the air, and yet you got this big monkey moving your pot belly stomach sticking out, man. You a preacher? Then you're supposed to be an honorary example. We ain't telling you to look like Mr. Olympia. We're not telling you to look like you walking around with all these bulging muscles, but at least have a sensible looking physique and get rid of that pot belly. Don't you know? That everybody know that you are a fat, overweight, walking tub of monkey mullion. But you can't believe it or not, Bishop T.D. Stakes. And I'm being real with you. I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not from the project, but I'm from the hood. You know, uh, we just keeping it real with you, Stakes. You can become a millionaire just off of your pot belly stomach alone. If you show people... How you lost your pot belly in six to nine months if you stuck to a consistent cardiovascular and nutritional weight loss plan and consistent exercise. Could you imagine how much money you could make from your YouTube channel with health related affiliate links in the description of your YouTube video descriptions, pointing people to products and health related services and nutritional products and fitness products to help them to better their lives. Do you know how much money you can make off of that Bishop TD stakes? And you would be making money the right and the honest way that you don't have to worry about giving account for because you know you're doing the right thing, Bishop TD stakes. If you were to pursue that avenue of a side hustle, are you getting what I'm trying to tell you? Stakes, stakeums, stakeums, stakeums. Listen, 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 listen.
Bishop TD Stakes. So you need to get on your weight loss plan now and start your YouTube channel. And then if you decide to start your Bishop TD Stakes health and weight loss related YouTube channel, you can give Side Hustle Inspiration a shout out and thank me for inspiring you to get that type of side hustle started. And hopefully Stakes, you will stick to the script if you decide to start your weight loss journey of starting and not quitting because people are sick and tired of hearing you you're preaching but then you're going against yourself and you got this pot belly in addition to all the other things that you got going on in your life so with that said bishop td stakes think about how you're making money right now are you really doing things the honest way bishop td stakes you still have time to change. And oh, Bishop TD Stakes, one more thing. Stop wearing shorts because you know men are not supposed to wear shorts. You know we're not supposed to be out in public bare chested. I'm not saying that you are or you did. But I did see you in that YouTube video wearing shorts. I dare you to take me to court over that Bishop TD Stakes. You ain't going to do nothing. Bishop TD Stakes, stop wearing shorts in public and wear pants because you know you and you're not doing the right thing. And once and for all, get rid of that hammy, fat, papa, jama, potato, Johnson, pot belly. If you got a reaction, you got something to say, I dare you to get on YouTube and comment against this video. Are you going to tell people, I ain't got nothing to say. Go ahead and log off. If you think I'm going to react, log off. You just ain't man enough to stand up and say nothing. That's all. Actions speak louder than words. You better start losing weight, Bishop TD Stakes, because real people ain't going to respect you until you start doing so. Over and out.